stifling it. Fuck off. I'm too stifling it. I can't actually do it. I'm not being funny. <laughs> just stifling it. Can't. No. What are you crying for? I'm so scared. Good morning everyone. <laughs> Today you join me at 8.02 on Thursday the 17th of August 2023 and today we are going to collect our A-level results. I'm not feeling the vibes, okay? I'm gonna be real. I'm not feeling the vibes. I woke up this morning, I was feeling quite stressed out all of yesterday in all honesty because these exams that I sat were most definitely the worst ones I think I've ever sat in the whole time I've been at school. Even subjects that I have been slaying the whole year, I really wouldn't be surprised if I failed in that exam. So, it's a bit hot hit or miss, you know? Um, and I'm about to go over my results. We are getting to school for 8.30, so I'm leaving in 10 minutes time. I just thought I'd get up early, have a shower, wash my hair, blow dry it, and then put on a little bit of makeup, just so when I do fail, obviously, I'm not gonna be that sad, because if you're looking okay, then, you won't be as depressed, tip of the day. How am I feeling about this? Not good, <laughs> not good. My phone will be calling the clearing lines today. Got the numbers ready, trust me, I'm ready for this. I'm even scared that maybe I won't even get through clearing. Maybe uni ain't for me. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe I should go to uni. I wanna take media and communications at uni. Media, I've always been quite good at, and I think this year I did quite well in media like I was getting A's and B's I have never really got lower than a B this year and then I sat that exam everyone came out the exam telling me like oh my god best paper I've ever sat in my life and I felt the tears coming it was so bad I sat in that exam and never in media have I ever sat in an exam and not had anything to write um, but that was the first time that I honestly have sat in a media exam and I had nothing to write so how good's that right it's not good. <laughs> right, I've literally got five minutes to do whatever I'm doing with my face. Yeah, so basically the plan is I'm going to go in there. I think I'm just going to go and get the envelope. Um, like I'm going to walk in with my friends, my envelope, and then go to the car. And then I'll film my reaction in the car. Um, right now, I could actually check UCAS and see if I got into uni. However, I want to do it a different way. I want to look at my results first because I just feel like I'm nervous to go in there and collect them anyway and I feel like if I check and I haven't got into uni it's just going to make going in there a whole lot worse because I was told by I don't know who but apparently the teachers know what you've got before you go in there which I just think is rude why am I so nervous? I'm actually really, I think I'm more nervous to go in and actually pick up my results than I am to look at them I don't know if that's a red flag or not anyway, right I'm going to go, wish me luck the next time I actually speak to you guys will be in the car Um. And yeah, wish me luck. I'm terrified. Well, that's more nervous than me, guys. I am actually. I don't know why I'm so like... <laughs> the envelope's been secured, everybody. Let me bring him. Great. 
Right, everyone can watch the disappointment unfold. Wait, who's going to be disappointed? Hello. Go on, crack it open. I don't want to open it. Oh, this is disgusting. No, because I'm going to be upset. I can't actually do it. I'm not being funny. <laughs> Just I actually open can't. It. No, because I'm going to get upset. Just open it. <sighs> That's trash. Why is that trash? I've got to see a media. Is it enough to get you in? No. So what happens now? Oh! You logging on to UCAS? Yeah. She's going to log on and see if they've got, given her an offer. <laughs> Did you get F for fantastic? It says your place is confirmed. It says place confirmed. Oh, I got in. Though. She got in. <laughs> she got so in. What's the problem, though? There isn't no. one. Huh? Great. At least I don't have to go through that's clearing. Right. That's brilliant. Well done. Oh. But now you have to stop partying and knuckle down to get a higher grade. No, I'm partying <laughs> tonight, Dad. You're not. You look quite powerful. I've had two sunbeds in two days. You look. Mm. She wanted different grades, but do you know how hard them they were? Exactly, it doesn't matter. All, all you needed was enough to get in. When you get there, no one gives a shit about your grade. Now they give a shit next year. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Stop partying at the beach till one in the morning and knuckle down there. See you later, well done. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Heidi, I'm so proud of you. Why are you lying? Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Oh. No. <laughs> Why are you actually crying? I'm just really proud of you. Thanks, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. I love you too. Heidi, Trash. Heidi, that is not <coughs> shit. No, it is. No, I'm telling you, it's not. I've done media and I've got a C. Never got a C. Yeah, but it's, it was more difficult. Here we go, guys. We've got our drinky. They're a bit tight on the measurements. Oh, I agree. Actually, usually, we have more than that. Mm. As the tea is, I got into uni, but my results are a bit questionable, okay? <laughs> now, I won't be revealing what I got, and I'm very shocked they let me in. Um, but it is what it is, obviously. This is like another situation. When I did my GCSEs, my maths GCSE, I'm just not good at maths, right? And it went so bad, I was thinking there's no way I could have got a four. I'd never got a four. It's embarrassing, I know, but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't got a four. And I opened my results and I had a four. I don't know how it happened. It was like someone's rigged the system for me. <laughs> and then I basically did not get the grades that I needed to get into uni, but I've still got in. So I don't know what's happened there. Clearly UCAS loves me or something. Um, I just told someone that I got in and they said it was it a mistake. Um, <laughs> it's making me overthink, but at the end of the day, who cares? Hello everyone, I am back from getting my results and um, yeah, I'm very happy. I got into the uni that I wanted to get into, which is very shocking. Um, it's weird because I didn't actually get the grades that I needed to get in, um, like exactly. So I was confused on how I got in, but I got in and <laughs> that's all that matters. When I got home, I called up the uni to like figure out what my start date was because that was what I've been waiting on. Um, I wanted to know like, what my start date is like, so I can start getting myself prepared and sorted out. So yeah, I've still got a month left of my summer until I start uni. So I'm very, very excited about that. And yeah, um, it was great. I literally, like the exam hall was pretty much empty like there's a couple of people in there but it wasn't like overloaded <sighs> went in there i just signed out my results got them went to the car and then i was on facetime with my dad and my mum while i opened them it is now time to celebrate so tonight we are going to the club um to bust it down i'm joking <laughs> no um we are actually going to go celebrate tonight at the club so i'm very very excited about that i won't be until like 11 o'clock tonight i don't know what i want to spend my day doing i did take on some cover um just because it's like a staff training day at work so i'm just going to cover the phone lines for a couple of hours while people go for training um but it's very unlikely that people will actually call i am drinking tonight everyone i am drinking tonight i've got some prosecco that i'm gonna open that i got for my birthday we're gonna pop the champagne and i'm gonna get on the drinking <laughs> Right, I love you guys. I'll see you soon.